Wait one second, make sure I'm recording. I should be recording now. Hello and welcome back to Minecraft Jungle Paradise Golden Age, episode 200, 300. I always keep getting it mixed up between 200 and 300. 321. Hopefully you are all doing okay today and staying safe as you can see there's a creeper in the background. I noticed that when I walked over here and I was waiting for recording to take care of it. But hopefully you are all doing okay today and staying safe and hello and welcome back to Minecraft Jungle Paradise Golden Age. Get out of here. There we go. Much easier. Okay, so in today's episode we are going to be finishing off what we were working on last episode. And I think I might push this out a little bit further. Yeah, we should push it out a little bit further. So, last episode we got a lot of this work done. We we basically broke everything along this line all the way back to that bit over there. And it's actually going quite well. Uh, let's see. Probably won't look as good as we last done this, but you know, I feel like this is pretty good to sell. So, in today's episode we're just going to be working on this. And if I have time... After I finish this, I think we might also try and start another project. But we're going to have to mine it all out. And then, maybe, we'll mine it a little bit out. But then we have to go on a little journey all around. I will not explain the project until maybe later. Or I could explain it now. Hmm. Sorry to be hearing my burp there. Eh, uh, let's see. So, I have another build idea, and it is a big build, well, not that big of a build, it's actually quite the smallest build compared to what we've been building recently. So, the idea that I have for a new build idea is called the Dirty Dirt Farm, and it is to harvest every type of dirt available in this update. So, it be, oh, sorry. Wrong bit. Okay, let me put that away. So if I write in D, or dirt, right dirt, you get normal dirt, you have coarse dirt. I'm not really. We could actually harvest wyvern layer dirt. That is a possibility. I have not been to the wyvern layer in ages. Last time I was there, I was harvesting all the eggs and it took forever. Okay, let's see. What is the other thing called? Ah, there it is. No, wait, I saw it was there, but... Nope, it was not there. Uh, hmm. Ah, there it is. Podzle. I want to collect Podzle. And I want to collect the other one from Mushroom Island. Now, the idea with our new idea, the Dirty Dirt Farm is to harvest a large amount of different kinds of dirt for future projects in the future. Uh, let's see. I know it's quite a weird name, but I decided that name and I will keep the name. Uh, let's see. I want to actually fill all this in. My reasoning, I need to fill it in. Okay, put a torch there. Okay, well, we might as well get on to what we need to get done today and also have a question of the day. Okay, what question of the day should we have? Hmm. Hmm. Trying to think of a good one. Hmm. 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 I'm like one of the little airplanes. When people make noises. Mm -hmm. Stuff like that. Okay. I think I might grab some dirt. Oh, I was wondering what that creepy sound was. Also, when I logged on today to start for what to start the episode for today, I found out that there is a nearby minecart. I don't know why I know this, but, yeah, you know, well, I do know why I know this. But there is a nearby minecart, 
And you're probably wondering how I discovered that. Well, it's not because I'm wearing a Sonic helmet. Normally it shows up when I'm wearing a Sonic helmet. That is a minecart. For some reason... I am getting, you know, minecart noise. Why is it showing diamond boots? Did you just see that? Diamond boots? Okay. Wearing these goggles might not be very helpful. I want to discover what that is up there. Oh! I don't have mending on my boots no more. Sorry. I forgot to put mending on my boots a while ago. We won't get to discover why there was diamond boots. There's iron here, name tag. Okay, well that's not too bad. But there's a minecart all the way up there. You know what? I think that might be one of my farms. Let's just break that. Let's just leave it now. I've had enough of this little exploration that we've had here. Exploration. Eh, let's see. You know, sometimes I like doing these little adventures and sometimes they're just very annoying. Like, I wanted to find out why there was a minecart sound. Because see when you log on in Minecraft 1.12.2, it plays uh, sound like a minecart's moving, but the minecart is stationary. I've known this for a while because, you know, when I built my, what do you call it, industrial, I called it the industrial furnace, yeah. Uh, when I built my industrial furnace, the idea behind it was, you know, I could turn it off and on, but that never really happened. Well, it did happen. I just used cobble. Or just stopped it by force. Eh, let's see. But, every time that I would log on near them, it would always generate the sound of the minecart. Just wasted some dirt there. Okay, this should work. Hopefully no spiders spawn down here, they will probably, so I'm gonna place a torch there. Okay, let's place all of that there. Hmm. Do I go with jungle stairs? So that means I would have to put one there. That's fine. And that's fine there. Okay, let's see, let's see, okay, so, hmm, you know, it's got to take me a second to read just into recording, uh, let's see, so I do apologise for that, you know when you don't record for a short while and then you go to record again, but then you don't do what to speak about while recording sometimes. It's very annoying. Eh, uh, let's see. Hmm. Let me try and think of something that we could talk about. Hmm. I've already talked about that one story about how, uh, see Asda. If you you probably know what Asda is. But the company Asda, when they had, like, McDonald's in Asda, they don't really have many of those anymore. But McDonald's in Asda, they always used to have crayons, and that was like the best thing back when you were a kid. Just grabbing a bunch of crayons. But then you would have to hunt down the other crayons that you wanted, because they didn't have the same colours that you wanted. So you would have to go after, you know, finished kids' meals, and steal their crayons. Like kids who had finished their meal, and no longer were there, 
you would just go over and steal their unused crayons. Well, not being used anymore crayons. Eh, uh, let's see, that was some good times. You had to be there to, you know, know how it felt. Taking, you know, the crayons that you wanted to the colours. Eh, uh, let's see. I think one time that I had, I had to swap with a kid. Like, actually swap colours. Just because I wanted one of their colours. Eh, uh, let's see. I do have some dirt in here. Okay, let's go place down the last amount of dirt. You know what, I should not be filling the inside with dirt. I could just fill it with, you know, this. I'm going to fill this in with dirt. Okay, no mobs have spawned in there. That works. Okay. Let's mine out all of this quickly. What else could we talk about? Hmm. Hmm. Trying to think of some interest and stuff that we could talk about. Hmm. Hmm. Have you ever seen the, you know the lighters, the ones that are always made into the weirdest shapes? Like, oh, look at this tiny elephant ornament. It is a lighter. I do not know who sort of a good idea of turning it into something, you know, like an elephant or something. I always hated those things after one time that I won't talk about because I hate that time. Fine, I talk about it a little bit. Well, you know how you have them in shops. Well, they didn't really tell you about these things. Huh? They were in a basket, so child me picks one up and just clicks the button boom fire and then I quickly put it back I am scared for the rest of my life all I wanted was a toy it was no toy hey, let's see not really it was, it was kinda trash not scared hey, let's see but, you know, who's sort of making, you know, stuff that, you know, looks like it would be made for a kid, huh? Into, like, stuff to smoke with, huh? Or to light fires. I guess campfires would make sense. Yeah, don't touch the elephant. It's slammable, kids. You don't know why it's slammable. Uh. Okay, what else could we talk about? Hmm. Ooh, hmm. Have any of you been to a zoo? I guess some of you may have been to a zoo. But you know, zoos are actually quite not that bad. The problem with zoos is the ones that charge so much just to enter and they don't actually have anything, you know, worth seeing. Uh, let's see. Like you go there and then pow. It's just meerkats. They only have the best thing is meerkats. That's the best thing that they have. Or you get very good ones. I went to one not that long ago, uh, back from my bus day, and I I went and saw a capybara. Oh, that was great. Uh, let's see. You know capybaras. You know how you expect them to be so sloppy and soft. They were not so sloppy and soft. They they had a, a weird kind of fur, and it was a fur that was aquatic fur, so it was like fur that was not, you know, not soft, but not, you know, like if you touch it, it's got to hurt you or something. Uh, let's see. It's like a non-watery, hmm, hmm, I'm trying to think of, figure out a good reference, hmm. It's like when you don't wash your hair for a long time and then you put it under some rain and it gets all that, you know, solid way. If you understand what I'm meaning. That way. That's what the fur was like. The capybara. 
Uh, let's see. But you know, capybaras are quite nice. But when you're feeding them, eh, they have such big teeth. You don't want to lose your finger to a capybara. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's see. So when you're feeding them, you have to let go after they get to a certain point, or they will keep on going until your hand is gone. Eh, uh, let's see. Uh, this, uh, we won't, this won't take too long. I just need to do the roof now. And the roof is only like, not too much to be done, right? Yeah, but that, no, that's not too much. Are we already getting done so fast? Uh, let's see. I remember it took like two episodes and like a couple of hours just to build this. Uh, let's see before. But we've actually made pretty good progress. I do need to do the dirt on the slower. And that will probably take the longest. Hmm. There we go. Okay, let's see. A lot of resources around here. Let's grab all this materials that I might use in the future. You know what? I can either work on the dirty dirt farm. I could work on the dirty dirt farm. Or I could go and collect the dirty dirt farm. And then we could also use some of this cobble. For something. But I am going to have to throw it all in my inventory first. Uh, let's see. Because I want to actually store up the cobble now. Okay. So I saw of a good idea of how I could use up a lot of this cobble. And the idea is. There is a project that I finished a long time ago. But I had to scrape it. Like I scraped it by a few cobblestone. Left. Uh, let's see. And that is our dam project. Literally this dam was supposed to be. See where this stone, well this cobblestone is in the inside. That is a single layer after a while, a single line. And it was supposed to be such a, you know, a chubby, thick kind of dam. But for, you know, me running low on, I think after that project I actually ran out of cobble. And I needed cobble, but you know, I didn't have cobble, so. That project costed me, you know, all of my cobble supply back in the day. So you can see how much cobble, you know, it actually took me. Uh, let's see. Okay, I need to figure out what I'm going to do with this. I guess I should actually do that. So put that in there. That can go in there too. Okay, give me one second as I put all of these in, oh, into coal block form. Uh, let's see. You know, I started putting stuff into block form when it was taking up too much room. Uh, let's see. But I figured it out that it's not too much that you can put in. I don't actually know what I'm saying now. It's very useful to put it into, you know, block form. Uh, let's see. We could actually make the roof over here a little bit larger if we wanted to. But I don't think we will. Not just yet. Or maybe. Just maybe. Let me finish this first. I have an idea of how we can actually work it in. And I fell. Okay, I want to actually do the slower now. Okay, this should work. And let's quickly mine it all out. I seem to have discovered a cave. That is going to be a pain in the future. If I ever decide to expand. Yeah, I am probably going to expand out that way at some point. Hmm. You know, we're building such big projects, the problem is the room. And also materials. 
Because when you're building such big projects, you always need a lot of room for this. And it takes a ton of room. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think I might make that little bit of the area a little bit taller. Just by one block, not too much. Okay, this should work. Okay, let's pick up all of this. And this. Okay, that should work. Dirt, dirt, dirt. Dirt. Okay, that's working. Actually, I could do like a bit of fence in there, right? Yeah, that could work. I see that working. Okay, let me break this to make this area look a little bit nicer. There we go. Oh, I was wondering where I placed that block there. Don't know why my camera just glitched out there. Eh, uh, let's see. Let's get to placing. Okay, that should work. So, in this build we do need to build a nether portal just over here. it probably take a lot of room to actually build it, so yeah, that will be a thing. Yeah, I do have mending on my pickaxe. I was just making sure. Eh, uh, let's see. You know, using all these hammers aren't really that bad of an idea. Because with all these hammers, it really, you know, speeds up the time limit. Of all these builds, because they normally take so long. Eh, uh, let's see. And then sometimes they're actually quite quick. Eh, uh, let's see. We already have grass spreading up here, so that we do not have to worry about doing ourselves anymore. Uh, let's see. The grass should spread all over this, so it should be perfectly fine that way. Uh, let's see. There we go, and there's a slime. And that is a problem with this little area over here, is that it's in a slime chunk. Okay, let me make a few sticks. Make some torches. Excuse me, mate. Can you get out of my face, slimy? He was really disarmed there, huh? Ah, fresh meat. What? Get out of here. Didn't expect that there. Uh, okay, let me head over here quite quick. No, I do not see what I'm looking for. Any room in these chests over here? I think there might be some room in these chests over here, yep. Let's just throw in some random junk. Okay. Hello there, panda bears. Ah, I really like how we've done that tree there. I need to do more of the trees. Make the area look a little bit nicer for the pandas. Hmm. I also need to do up the walls around here. I've realised that. Like, certain blocks can stay, but certain blocks, you know, really make the area not look as well as it does. Like stuff like this, this needs to go. There we go, not too bad. Okay, let's quickly do all of this. Okay, let's see, that's quite well. Okay, not too bad. 
I do really like this little area here. Uh, let's see. I'm looking at it a second. Now, if I want to build something all the way down that area and then maybe make a bridge over it. Well, not a bridge. Uh, hmm. I'm going to have to build two massive rocks. Or carve out two massive rocks and put dirt over it and then put the bridge in between. Yeah, that could work. Okay. Sorry, I'm just trying to think of a proper idea for the future bit of the... Oh, that was a bad lag spike there. Do apologise for that. Okay. Did I pick up that book? I'm full on... No, it's Gold Seeker. Who? I don't know if it's part of a mod, but who decided Gold Seekers was a good book? Uh, let's see. There we go. Okay, that should work. Now we do have the problem of lighting up this area over here and then doing the groundwork. That won't actually take too long. Okay, well that seems like a pretty good spot there. Okay. I think that's how that's going to go. I think that's how that's going to go, right? Yep, I think that's how it's going to go. And I need to grab my axe. Okay, let's go drop off some trash before, you know, I put that stone back. I do want to do up the walls, but, you know, I don't know why I have time for it now. Uh, let's see, we're running dangerously low on space. A uh, lot of stuff that needs to be done then. There we go. Eat a big potato. And grab that. There we go. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Uh, where is the stone? There it is. not too bad. Okay, let's kind of just trim the edges over here too. There we go. Not too bad. Let's pick up the scraps. Okay, let's see. Put that in there. Gravel can go in there too. Diorite. Bone. Yeah, that should work. Okay. We do have the problem of lighting this all up. That's going to be an issue, I think. Oh, wait. I think it might be easier than I thought. I want to do more hidden lighting because that was my idea. Hidden lighting. But I don't know if we'll be able to do that. Uh, let's see. So that is the middle right. Not too bad. Yeah, that to be where the portal's going to be. To be a little bit taller, but you know, I need to break out that roof. Yes, that's what I wanted to do. Uh, 
break that, break that, break that. Okay, place that there. Okay, let's grab a little bit more stone and make quickly. I misplaced that block there. Yeah, that's not too bad. It allows more room for viewing the portal from farther away. That's kind of the idea that I wanted. Uh, let's see. So break that. Like that. So when you're looking for further away, it look nicer. Oop. There we go. Not too bad. Okay, we symmetrical over here. There we go. That is actually quite well. You can see all the torches. You know, if you use a shader pack on this world, all you would just see is a hundred thousand torches everywhere. I wonder how many torches we've actually placed in the series. Uh, let's see. Let's mine out all of this. I guess now. Oh wait, I wasn't supposed to do this to now. Let's mine all of this out. Okay, that's going quite well there. Okay, a little bit more. And I'm out of inventory space, and I do not think there's any more room in here. Yep. Okay. Okay. We managed to slip by there. Need to put that iron away. We have collected quite a lot of iron also. Uh, let's see. And down this way, I don't really have a plan for this area yet. It's kind of like a work in progress. Let's see. Oh. You see the bad leg spikes there? Oh. Haven't had bad leg spikes like that for a while. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Maybe something's open in the background. I forgot to close or something. Okay, let's see. Now I'm pretty sure I closed everything in the background. Okay, well, let's mine out the last of this. And I guess we can't finish the last bit. But we have created a lot of progress here that I will continue on with in the future. Now, I have a quite a lot of cobble and I do have some time left of today's episode. Why don't we hurry over to the water dam, do some work on that, and then if we have even more time then I might actually go out and mine a little bit of uh, different kinds of blocks, like, you know, land blocks. So. Uh, let's see. I don't know where Podsol comes from. Where is Podsol from? I think it comes from, like, Taiga biomes. Taiga. Okay, let me clear my throat first. <coughs> Thank you. Uh, let's see. Hmm, that's not Podzel. Where does Podzel come from? It comes from a certain taiga biome, doesn't it? Like tall. 
Tega Bams or something. Or it comes from a 4x4 tree, but I think that's in the newer updates. Where does Podsol come from? Is Podsol craftable? I don't think so. I don't really want the sifter. Okay. We solve that issue in the future. Also, I think there's lag spikes due to the higher area chunks now loading. Uh, let's see, because when you're underground in Minecraft 1.12 and you spawn down there, everything above has got to have to reload. So, you know, it lags a little bit when you're walking up to the surface. Zachary, you're very scary. Hello there, Rosalina. Okay, let's see. I hear my dog in Minecraft. Eh, uh, let's see. Let's quickly run up here. I'm jogging up the stairs. Are you okay? Hmm. Should I take my dog on a little run around? Hmm. Nah, it's okay. Oh, maybe. Nah, it's okay. We leave our dogs for another time. Uh, let's see, we don't need to breed our dogs at one point. Uh, let's see. That's still a pretty good room there. I still need to get the Berserker armor. I realised that. Hello there, Voitek, how you doing? Char. Okay. Hello there, our goat. Singy. Nod. Oh, there you are, Nod. Hello there, Nod. How you doing? Come here. Come with me, Nod. Place you just there. Okay. I always like to move Nod around every once in a while. Hey, let's see. Spruce saplings. One, two, three, four. That is pretty good. Now, what else do I need to do? Well, I need to collect the dirt and then also I need to also work on the water dam quite quick. I think it won't take too long as we now have better breathing than we did a long time ago. Hello there, Phil the Farmer. How you doing? Ah, Phil the Farmer. Such a good farmer. Eh, uh, let's see. I still really like that tree that we built there. It's not too bad. Eh, uh, let's see. Hmm. Does this little bit of land seem a bit barren? It has a big tree. Maybe I should add something to it. Hey, let's see. Maybe like some huge roots coming out of the tree. Maybe a little bit out somewhere. Could be a cool idea. Hey, let's see. But maybe over the top. Hmm. I don't know. I'll let you decide that one. Hello there. Sour Tomato and Spike, how you doing? Uh, let's see. Sorry, I'm heading over to the tree farm. Where I can, well not tree farm, but the area just near the tree farm. So I can plant these and then you'll... Really? The worst time that you could have grown it. Okay, well, you know. Let's break down that tree. As it's grown just when I came into this area. Okay, that should work. And then hopefully I can get Podzol quite soon. Does it have to be grass in the area to get Podzol? I quite don't know. There's my T-Rex down there. I do actually need to feed the T-Rex soon. So we need to go out and maybe get some meat. Uh, let's see. Normally we'd go out to the savannah and run around there for a little while, for an hour or two. And collect up some pork chops. With my slim sword. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Okay, question of the day. What is your favourite Minecraft animation back in the day? Like, 
what's your favorite historical animation now? It's basically historical. Like it has to be back, back a long time ago. Like, long time ago. Like Fallen Kingdom and all that. Or n don't mine at night. Kind of stuff like that. Uh, let's see. It's weird to think that they're all ancient now. Uh, let's see. Grab these saplings. Put that there. Put that in there. Mine that and place that there. I wanted to actually test this out to see if it would work. Oh, bam. Nope. Grab some bones. Quite low on bones. There we go, and it's not possible. Hmm. But I do get a ton of spruce wood from it. Can't really complain about that. Okay. So, what do I do now? That I cannot... I don't know where to get pots though. Could one of use uh, lend me like a hand? I'm trying to find where Podzel is. I know it spawns sometimes near the rocks and the taiga biome. I remember that back in the day. When they first added the taiga biome to Minecraft PE and all that. I hated that biome so much. Uh, let's see back in the day. Okay, let's just go up a little bit further and then. Didn't expect this tree to be so tall. Technically, it's like the same tallness as the last tree, but a little bit bigger. Okay, let's go. Mine all of that. Break all of this. That is a lot of wood that I have gotten from this. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Okay, let's grab all of these. What do I want to plant? I could plant another spruce tree and maybe in the future I can come back and harvest it. Uh, hmm. You know what? I'm going to carry this on me. I could find some use for it in the future. But let's put all of our wood in here. I need to throw a lot of this junk out when I have time. Hello there, Boris the T-Rex, how are you doing? Oh, okay. Well, let's get going. As we need to work on that dam. Why did I go to the Podsil bus? I could have came over here the next time, tested it out. Okay. It looks like I can't get Podsil from that, so we have to go to the biome for Podsil. And then we need to bring it back, and then we need to build the farm, my dear. The dirty dirt farm. And also we need to work on this area right here. Let's throw that away. Uh, let's see. No, I do not need stone. I need cobblestone. Okay, that should work. Ah... Uh. You know, there's just something about the underwater that just looks so, you know, weird, but you know, nice weird. Uh, let's see, now we get to finally finish off this, one of the oldest builds I would say in this world. Uh, let's see. I did this a lot faster the last time because I would go up and then when I got to the nearest bit to the bottom block. I would just start going upwards. There we go and then we start going down. And then you would start placing once you got nearer to the bottom block. There we go. Now, yeah we, this is the tire side that we have to do. I don't know why I could not do this before, but I had this on mind for like recent. So, you know, I'm, I was going to do it before, you know, the corruption of 1.19 and I had to go back to the save and all that. 
So I had it on main since then. But I see that you know, at least we get this done now. And it makes the world even more complete once I have this done. Because this has been, you know, here for so long. I should have had this done ages ago. Uh, let's see. You can also see my sporadic building as I was going up and down like I am doing now. To get this done as fast as possible. Uh, let's see. But is this done now? We don't... Are you just following me along the entire time now? The last couple that's been here for an entire year now. It's weird to think that this series is over a year old now. Eh? I still remember, you know, our first episode. I watched it many times, our first episode. I did have such a bad mic back then. I was using a headset mic and, you know, headset mics that aren't really good. But, you know, I liked the sound of it and I didn't want to really change it. But this mic sounds a lot better than what that I'm using now. Eh, uh, let's see. It is a trust mic. I trust it. <laughs> uh. Oh, I needed oxygen there. Okay. Let's place all of this here. Yeah, I can definitely see why this was taken so long back in the day. Because how much cobble I went through already. Surprised I even built this. I think this was like one of the biggest builds. Well, the biggest build until we did the waterway project. That's out front of our house. If you remember, it's this project. It was a big square and then I, you know, roughed, well, not roughed out the edges. Made the edges look a lot nicer. Like, that island looks more like an island now. Even though it does look like a big lane outwards. And also a bunch of stone everywhere. It's, it looks a lot nicer. Yeah, let's see. Like, seeing our build, when I look back and see all of our builds that we did back then... And then, you know, you think, oh, that was, like, you know, that was recent, but it, it's ages. It's been, you know, like a year now. Eh, uh, let's see. A lot of the builds, you know, I did so fast, like, I think there was only a couple of episodes of the Waterway Project, because I did a lot of it off-camera. That was, like, a full off-camera work, you know, <coughs> time. Uh, let's see, because I spent like hours just mining and mining. I actually had to make diamond pickaxes, and then I used the diamond pickaxes for hammers to just mine through it. I actually started testing TNT, but TNT was too expensive and too, you know, inefficient for the build because it would be too sporadic when I needed something you know, nice and soft that I could mine down later. And was that the idea to mine it down later? I don't really know. Tenko planning back then was, you know, a lot less simple. It was, oh, I like this idea. I will do idea, idea now. Without any planning. I think I like planned out a little bit and that was pretty much it back then. Uh, let's see. I was not the best uh, planner. I just imagined myself as a planner, a literal planner. Uh, let's see. Uh, hmm. Let's place all of this here. We actually went through quite a lot of it. I think we can't even do the other side because we are quite low on cobble in our inventory, not in our world. We probably have like over 10,000 stacks of cobble. Well, not even that, probably a thousand cobble stacks somewhere. Just in random chests that I have laying around. Uh, let's see. Hmm. 
Okay, I've had to pick out my favourite build project. Hmm, let me try and think. What would my favourite build project be? I don't really know. That's quite a hard one to answer. Because I've built so much in my world, right? I've built my animal farm, I've, I've fixed the animal farm, I've made it better, I've built new stuff. And it's always changed. Like, I added this big area over here. And that was, you know, I wanted to use this door over here, so I decided to build it. And then, I wanted to put like a... Like, this is where my, uh, what do you call it? Fairy horse was supposed to be. But I'm yet to spawn it back in because when I had to save with Blueberry Wolf Cub or Blueberry WC, uh, that save just absolutely pooped on me. Because my shulker boxes were in my inventory. And I could have just spawned it back in. But, you know, I decided to just go back a save and now I don't have a fairy horse. But I do want to spawn it back in with commands. I am allowed to do that because I actually had the horse. Eh, uh, let's see, it took forever. Eh, uh, let's see. The problem with the more creatures is how buggy the horse breeding is now. That certain stuff has to be, you know, spawned in to, for it to properly work. Eh, uh, let's see, because breeding and then, you know, getting a normal vanilla horse. They made it a lot more complicated since, you know, the early times of the mod. Like they added vanilla has to be, you know, necessary for it. Before you just had the horse and then, you know, you just bred the horse. Vanilla horses weren't necessary. But then, you know, they started with normal vanilla horses in the breeding tree and... Breeding horses and mo creature absolutely horrible. Eh, uh, let's see. I actually planned in 1.15 that would be the last episode, episode 115. That would be the last episode and I wanted to do horse breeding for the last episode. To get the horses that I wanted. But then I found out the tree was so bad that, you know, I didn't want to do it no more. Eh, uh, let's see. I don't know who decided vanilla horses was a good addition but, you know. I spent so long trying to find a white horse. Literally, I spent hours finding, trying to find a white horse. But then, find out that they don't have a white horse in Mo Creatures no more because they replaced it with a vanilla one. Uh, this is all stupid sounding, probably. I apologize. Uh, let's see. Let's place all of this here. There we go. Not too bad, we still have a lot of way to go, but you know, we got the other side done. Let's check it out. Oh, that's looking a lot better, right? I like how the light slowly, you know, starts to fade. Uh, it's great. I still really like this little bridge here. Okay, do we have time to go grab, like, some certain dirt blocks? Hmm. Well, we only need one. That's uh, the Mushroom Island one now. Hmm. Actually, I wanted to check something out. No, there's no podsel up here. I could actually look for a podsel biome now, if I wanted to. I do have my nature's compass. So take it. Cold Tiger. Redwood Tiger Hills. Three thousand blocks away. Okay, I almost died there. Okay, where is this? That's 3,000 blocks away? And basically there's Podzil right there. Podzil looks so ugly. It looks like they just textured it on top and then just did not bother to do the sides. Maybe it's just my texture back, huh? Okay, well that, that's a little bit more simple than I thought it would be. 
Uh, let's see. Yeah, this was a biome that we had in Minecraft PE back in the day. You had a bunch of these rocks. It was all pods all back then, like this. And it was absolutely terrible back in Minecraft PE when they added this biome because all you would just find is this biome. I literally saw this biome like 10 times in a row once. Not like, you know, it, it ended and then you started again. It was so terrible. Like this is 1.12.21. So yeah. It was a lot more terrible back then. But this, this bit here is beautiful. But in the newer updates, Podzo looks a lot, lot better. And the tiger biomes actually look a lot better. Eh, uh, let's see. The newer generation does have its benefits, but it has a lot of downfalls. That makes it, you know, not as good as the older version. Eh, uh, let's see. Oh, do you remember the old uh, terrain generation back in the day? Oh, that was great times. Just, you know, logging on to Minecraft and finding this beautiful, you know, world that would never exist in real life, huh? And it was, like, awesome. And then, you know, you would go around and look at everything. Ginormous, beautiful mountains. That were always very wonky. I don't actually have a waypoint for this island. Huh. Okay. Okay, I don't know what that was. Where am I? Uh. Ah. Oh no. It's around here, isn't it? Let me look for it, yeah. I quickly go run over it. I haven't been here since the incident and be getting that other kill back. So if you don't know what this place is, this is where a kill one on antenna sadly was killed. I don't actually know where. Let me look around along the river. Uh, let's see. I don't know if the river bank was damaged or something. I feel like it was like over here or something. Yeah, it might have been over here or here. But somewhere along this area, I think it was right there. Like somewhere over here, Kill One Antenna. Its name was called uh, that because it looked like, see if it's mushrooms on its back? It looked like an antenna. So I called it that. Uh, let's see. Ow. That's quite deep. But, oh! Wait. There is red mushrooms here. I literally saw there was no red mushrooms on this island. I've been here and I looked all over the island and I could not find a single red mushroom. The last time that I was here. But why is there so many? They weren't here the last time, were they? I didn't see anything. See of any of these the last time. But this is where I took my two mushroom, mushroom kills from the last time. That I was here from. Uh, let's see. I take some of the landscape. Okay, let's see. Okay, we could do another question of the day. What's the scariest horror game you you've ever played? Like you had to pick up the controller and play it. Uh, let's see. Hmm. That would probably be a Xbox original horror game that I played back in the day. It was actually quite creepy. It was like Outlast, but not Outlast or, you know, Evil Within. Mm. Kind of like that, but it was more like, I can't understand what it was. It was like a fantasy. You start in like a prison room. And you have to escape and then the guy can come back and if you have not escaped he comes and kills you. Or you have to fight him. I think. I think you're supposed to sneak out and then you know fight him or something. It was a quite weird uh, game. But 
you play in first person, but the camera was in third person? It was, I don't know if, yeah, it was the same game. It was just a quite weird game. Uh, let's see. So I'm gonna be taking these uh, little bits of your land home with me, mycelium and podzo. Not too bad. Also, I do have a plan to terraform this entire island, like take over it, because it's the only one that I've ever found. But I actually thought there was no red mushrooms. So I was actually going to bring like 60 red mushrooms with me and place it all over the island one day. But it looks like I won't have to do that. And also it has a quite cute bay over here. Imagine what we could do with this bay, you know, build like a, maybe like a little area along it. A little walkway. Oh, a little bench here, just watch the sunset. Uh, I always wanted to terraform one of these islands. Problem is I didn't know if you could. Or how to. Uh, let's see. So maybe one day. Plus we get a cool sick pool over here. Hey, go in the pool, come on. Come on, it's a pool party. Come on. Yeah. Me and my pool party gang over here. We're pool partying over here in the lake. Oopsie. I have gotten <laughs> sticky keys. Oh, I do apologize for that. Hopefully it did not break the screen. Oh, I did not expect to get sticky keys so fast. You know, sometimes sticky keys is quite slow and then sometimes it just happens like two, three times after you click. Uh, let's see. I don't know who decided sticky keys was a good idea. Uh, let's see. I guess that's why someone, you know. Can you switch your sprint button to control? I know someone who, you know, changed it. Is that no always used to use it that way? Wait. It looks like an elephant, doesn't it? Wait, there's more to this island? I never actually seen the rest of this island. Okay, mushroom island exploration time. And then I will end today's episode because I saw the time was over an hour, so. You know, I do apologize for it being so long, but you know, I want to explore. It's fun exploring with you. And I want to, you know, show more of this weird, wacky world that we have here. Yeah, let's see. And also, here's a seed if you're interested in it. It's minus 17307114479. Not 9. I was about to say 9, that's the end. It goes minus 17307114479. Sound like a robot. Okay, but this is the end of the island over here. So many pools of lake. It's it's so nice. But that's so thin over there, that's so cool. I wanna go check that out. Actually, I've never actually seen one of these actually form properly. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, it's like a little water bank. Aw. One block had to ruin it, huh? You know what? Fixing the generation. There we go. There we go. Not too bad. That fixes it up quite good. Okay. Let's go on a little walkabout up here. It's actually quite a big mushroom island. Now, we are close to the, our normal land, desert island over here. Well, I should have, you know, connected this place ages ago, but, you know, I never actually decided to... Should I? Should I generate a little bit more ocean and just get over there? I do really like this island. Terraforming this size? Is this, like, one of the biggest mushroom islands you can get? So large. No, it isn't because 
Mm. Wasn't the one on Simbacraft a lot larger? Did I build this? Did I build this? Uh, I don't know. I might have built this. You know what? This is all new terrain. Where did this go? Moose from Island Shore. This was new terrain. Where did you come from? Hey. Hmm. Is this normal for Minecraft? I need some help over here. This is getting creepy. I have never generated this bit of land, as you can see from the other map in my other corner of my well, land. And it would have generated because I have over 10 chunks. So this would have all generated if I walked a bit over but I've never been at this island since I took the two mushrooms, so... Mushrooms. I've never built that. I think it's natural generation. I was just going to think it was a mod. Oh, hello there. But then it just doesn't seem like it could be a mod. Hmm. It's quite weird. Possibly you can get in there too. Put it there. Okay, grab my boat and I shall sail over quite quickly. Hopefully, one of you can help me out in the comment section. And that is quite a weird looking island, it just drops off like a de death end, huh? Like the big side of the pool. Eh, uh, let's see. Hmm, did you ever lie on your back in a pool? It was quite relaxing to lie on your back in a pool. There's an island off in that direction. Nothing really to matter about. So I'm just waiting for us to generate that land over there. More islands. I didn't expect these islands out here. Eh, uh, let's see. Hmm. You know, there's enough room out here to build, like, a new island entirely. And I have been planning to build that island, but the problem is, should I and the time it would take up? Eh, uh, I don't know. I would want to build an island. My original idea was to just dump a bunch of lava on the world. Like, dump a bunch of lava, like, get a large water area and just dump as much lava as possible. And then just kind of shave together, you know, landscapes. Or lava cast, that could be a good idea. Or I could, you know, shave together like normal terrain, like this. Yeah, here we are. The land that looks like Korea. Or, you know, Japan. Yeah, let's see. I do really like this land over here. I just don't want to touch it because, you know, that's never been touched. So, I don't want to, you know, touch it. Yeah, let's see. I want to keep it the way it is. Yeah, let's see. I do that a lot. I see such nice areas, but I don't want to touch it and destroy it. Uh, let's see. I want to kind of preserve it. Here is Desert Mass Halden. Desert Village 1. Or Village 1. Old uh, animals out here. Ostriches, that's what they're called. And that connects up a lot to my world. I should just you know, generate all of this landscape here. You know, seeing where you have been in a world is so fascinating. Uh, let's see. 
Also, we st we still have to build that thing again in this world. That other build. Get off of my land. Get out of here. I hate when ogres spawn on my land. Like, I have a problem with ogres now. You do all these ogres attacking me. There's my, uh, manticore. Can't remember what I called it. Uh, let's see. But this place over here seems like it's, you know, still in good condition. Can you not get over that? That is so funny. I am going to put this all the way around here. Sadly, you will not stay here. like a little daycare. Oh, there's little Timmy. He's having a little time out. Yeah, let's see. Oh, there's little Wilson having a little time out. If I had a anvil, I could probably put it to good use. Yeah, I need to fix up the windows. Oh, hello there. Oh, hello there to Letty and uh, Pearly. How are you doing? Last time I was here, you, one of you died. It was due to that back part here. There we go. Ah. Good to fix up problems. Uh, let's see, hmm. Okay, another question of the day as I am going to end today's episode here. What's your favourite actor? And what is it, your favourite movie of that actor? Okay, let's teleport back home and, you know, end today's episode. <coughs> Apologies for that. Uh, let's see. Should I end it here? It's close to home. Might as well end it out side of here. You know, ever since we built this, I always thought, you know, this is quite nice looking. Uh, let's see. Ah, nothing beats this place. Even with shaders, it looks quite nice. There is a lot of build issues with this build. Like, if I was to, you know, fix it one day, I would chop the middle and just line it to the right amount. Or maybe chop the other side and, you know, fix it to the right number. But the way it came out, how it looks now, it's probably going to stay forever. So I'm going to... Sorry, I'm getting stuck every... Oh. I'm trying to walk backwards is quite hard. So I'll end today's episode here. So hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. Have a nice day, safe. Up to the apple, maybe even some more shoot. Need to keep up the vitamins. Very, very important. And bye-bye. See you next time. Have a nice day. See you. Bye-bye. Oh, I messed up there. Have a nice day, stay safe, have a little, maybe even some more shit, need to keep up the vitamins, very, very important, and bye-bye, see you next time, have a nice day, see you, bye-bye.